Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look into the case of Japanese black widow Chisaku Kakehi. She was a bad girl who preyed on her victims and trapped them in her poisonous web. Let's find out how naughty she was and what did she do to get in trouble that might cost her life. But first, let's start from the beginning. There isn't a lot of information on Chisako's early years, but let's see what we can find out about her. Chisako Kikehi, born Yamamoto, was born on November 28, 1946 in Kitakyushu City, Fukukuwa, Japan. She grew up in a middle class family and when she was in high school she had good grades. However, she didn't pursue a higher education because her father didn't want her to. He wanted her to get married and that's what she did. Chisaku married several times, but she only had two children with her first husband. Chisaku married her first husband in 1969. He had a fabric printing company and what's interesting about this is cyanide is used for commercial printing. Was this Shisaku's introduction to her favorite poison? And I mean literally, she loved poison so much she used it on the men in her life. Chisaku's first husband died in 1994. He had a heart attack, but he recovered. But what's interesting about this is, after he was declared fit and discharged from the hospital, he died. He was 54 years old. Are you suspicious as I am? Chisaku met her second husband through a dating agency. He was a manager at a pharmaceutical wholesaler and in 2006, at the age of 69, he died of a stroke. In 2008, Chisaku married again. Toshiaki Yamamoto, age 75, became husband number three. He was an agricultural cooperative entrepreneur and only three months of marriage, he died of a heart attack. All of these men were cremated and none of them had an autopsy performed on them. In November 2013, she married a fourth time, but before she married him, she had other boyfriends and fiancés, but they died. Her fourth husband was Hisahu Kakehi. He was 75 years old and he died one month after they married. But this time, Hisahu Kakehi's body revealed traces of cyanide poisoning when they performed an autopsy. Chisako Kikehi was in big trouble now and in 2014 she was arrested. During investigations, authorities checked on her previous relationships and they noticed there were a lot of dead bodies and eventually they connected four deaths to Shisako Kakehi. And these were Toshiaki Suehiro, a former prefectural official from Kobe whom Shisako became engaged to. He was 79 years old. He collapsed in the middle of the street. He was put on life support and in 2009 he died of cancer and they found traces of cyanide in his blood samples. In 2011, Chisako got engaged again to Masanori Honda. He was 71. He died of arrhythmia six months later while riding a motorcycle. In 2013, Chisako was dating a man called Minori Yoki. He was 75. He was a retired architect. He died and initially they thought it was lung cancer, but investigations proved it was poisoning. Then came husband number four who was the catalyst for her arrest. Chisako Kikehi used dating agencies to snag all of these men. She was quite specific with the type of men she was looking for, wealthy and with no children. She was looking for rich, elderly and lonely men. Easy prey for her. The trial started in 2017 and lasted more than four months. Initially, Chisako pleaded not guilty, but during trial, Chisako confessed. She said she wanted to kill her husband because she hated him, because he gave money to other women and not her. But two days later, she retracted. She said she didn't remember saying it, but eventually, 
Chisaku Kekehi was found guilty of murder and she was also convicted of attempted murder and robbery of another man. Chisaku Kekehi was sentenced to death by hanging. And the motive for the crimes was the oldest reason in the book, money. She would have these men put life insurance benefits and inheritance in her name and then she killed them. And she made a good amount of money, allegedly. She made almost 12 million dollars but she doesn't have much left because she lost most of it to bad investments and bad business. Chisako Kekehi's legal team appealed her death sentence alleging Chisako was suffering from dementia and she was incapable of taking part in a criminal trial. However, in 2021, Japan's Supreme Court rejected her appeal. So, this is the story of Black Widow Chisako Kekehi, husband killer. I think she's one of many who take advantage of people for financial gain. And she used death as her go get it scheme. If they didn't perform an autopsy on her fourth husband, this woman would have kept on killing. And all for money. The elderly are definitely easy targets, especially those who are lonely. If I had to speculate, the list of victims might be way more extensive than we know. Chisaku Kekehi was a serial killer and she was out of control. My advice is, if someone asks you to take a life insurance policy and put them as your beneficiary, don't do it. Walk away. Run. And to end this, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching. See you the next time. Stay safe.